Back here on Sportsline, we teased it before the break. Remarkable stuff about Delaney Walker, who is a remarkable story in his own right. This is a guy who's kind of unheralded in college, worked his way up in the NFL, was a backup, and now has developed into maybe the best tight end in the league over the past few years. It's one of just two tight ends that have four consecutive seasons of more than 800 yards receiving. That's incredible when you think about it. He's a three-time Pro Bowler. He's done remarkable things. When he was signed with Tennessee, his idea was, I want an opportunity to prove that I am a weapon, that I can be a starting tight end and a really good player in this league. He did that, and he got another contract. And now he's earned another contract extension, two years, $17 million with the Titans that he signed on Friday that will keep him as a Titan for the next three seasons, all the way up until his 36th birthday. But all of that nearly was derailed on Tuesday, the eve of training camp, when Walker was driving downtown near his home and an 18-wheel tractor trailer apparently didn't see his car, a Lamborghini, a very short, low-to-the-ground car, didn't see him and actually drove over the car. I, I mean, it's an unbelievable story. And to hear him talk about it so matter-of-factly it, it is amazing. He was actually under the tractor trailer for some part of it. The car was essentially totaled. But amazingly, Walker emerged unscathed. Here's his tale of that and the perspective it brings for a guy who has emerged to be one of the best tight ends in the National Football League. Delaney, how nice is it that the Titans, uh, you know, extend you now? I mean, it puts you through uh, 2020, age 36. Mike just spoke about how you just seem to always get better and take care of yourself. But to have that rewarded, pretty good? Feels good. That's his full press conference. We'll get to that at some point. We'll go to the story, though, now, because it is a kind of a mind-blowing story about Delaney Walker. And, again, the harrowing experience on Tuesday – and him getting into camp with a smile on his face, able to get on the field healthy, sign the contract, and be ready to go. Here's Delaney Walker. I was actually under the tractor, so uh, it's pretty pretty dangerous. Someone stopped him. Thank God. I, if this person is listening or see this interview, thank you for stopping the guy because he was still going. He didn't see me at all. Just hours before training camp was supposed to begin, Delaney Walker got the scare of his life. But the next day, Walker arrived at St. Thomas Sports Park, just like always, ready for his 13th NFL season. I hear a lot of guys say I'm taking stuff and what am I taking because they need it. But uh, all jokes aside, you know, they just want to know um, what I'm doing and how I keep on being able to come out here year after year and play the way I play. But the message I give them is just take care of your body and know that it's a kid's game and I feel like a kid every time I step on the field. Walker was a six-round draft pick out of Central Missouri in 2006 and spent the first seven years of his career as a backup with the 49ers. In 2013, Walker bet on himself signing a free agent deal with the Titans in the belief he could become a primary offensive weapon. That's why I stepped away from the 49ers. They loved me there. They gave me the opportunity to play, but I didn't see myself being that uh, guy that I wanted to be, knowing that uh, I can be a, a dominant starter in this league, and the uh, Titans gave me that opportunity. Walker hasn't disappointed. He doubled his career high in catches with 60 in his first season with the Titans and is one of just two tight ends with more than 800 yards receiving in each of the past four years, earning a two-year, $17 million contract extension at age 33. Now under contract through 2020, he shows no signs of slowing down. It's funny, Supernaw asked me, your body don't hurt at the 33? And I told him, I don't feel anything. As long as I still feel like that, I think I can play as long as the, the organization wants me or if the NFL tells me they don't want me in the league no more, that's when I'll stop. But they're going to have to boot me out because it's going to be tough. He's been instrumental in helping turn the Titans around. Despite helping them reach the playoffs for the first time in nine years last season, Walker enters 2018 hungry for even more. And with a healthy dose of perspective and a humble appreciation for life and his career, 
following the near tragedy on the eve of camp. Thankfully, it wasn't nothing too serious, and uh, you can't never take anything for granted because you never know what can happen. Uh, I'm blessed to be safe and uh, able to still to play this game. Yeah, I'd say that's a blessing. The Titans are certainly excited about that. Walker has 356 catches over his six seasons in Tennessee and three straight Pro Bowl appearances. I mean, just a remarkable, remarkable story that he <laughs> is safe and can be in training camp and can work out and still very much enjoys the career ahead of him, which should be long because he shows no signs of slowing down. Walker maybe has the best story of camp so far, but the star of camp to this point has been Malcolm Butler, signed from the Patriots in the offseason, a bit of a tumultuous offseason because of the way his career in New England ended. This is a guy who won a Super Bowl for New England not all that long ago and was benched for all but one play of their Super Bowl loss to the Eagles in February in Minnesota. Patriots have moved on, so has Butler, signing with the Titans in the offseason for a big free agency deal to move into that secondary that they hope is much, much improved. And Malcolm Butler has shown out so far, four interceptions so far in training camp. He has set the tone early and often with plays in this camp for Mike Vrabel and his coaching staff. Here's our look at Malcolm Butler, the new hero in the Titans secondary. Malcolm has been the player of the camp so far right now, man. I think every day he's coming out here, he's scratching, clawing. I mean, we knew that coming in, but to see him out here competing, going hard, making plays in one-on-ones, it's great to see that. Malcolm Butler's reputation precedes him. His game-clinching interception won Super Bowl 49 for the Patriots, and he's had eight more picks the past three seasons. After signing a five-year, $61 million contract with the Titans in March, no one's had a bigger impact through the first week of training camp. You practice how you play, and that's so true. So I hope I can keep practicing like this throughout the whole year. Just got to keep making plays, just like I tell the, the young guys. A play a day, keep the coach away. So uh, just got to keep playing. He's brought playmaking ability. He's brought toughness and attitude. And uh, I've seen it every day. I don't think people understand how hard he practiced. Butler's been a great addition on the field and in the locker room, which was somewhat of a question mark after he was inexplicably benched by Bill Belichick in the Patriots' Super Bowl loss to the Eagles in February. Butler says he never got an explanation for the benching, but that the disappointment is now in the past. I'm on fire, I can tell you that. But, uh, you know, I'm past that. I'm a Tennessee Titan, and, you know, I'm just ready to ball for the Titans. He's carried that motivation into training camp as the tone setter for the Titans' defense. Butler's intercepted a pass each day, showing a competitiveness his coach hopes is contagious. That's got to be the, the standard uh, for every player, you know, regardless of, of what kind of salary you make, is that the effort uh, and the competitiveness is, is that on every play. Mike Bravel. Certainly impressed with this guy, Malcolm Butler. They both know the Patriots' way. They're trying to bring some of that winning mojo here to Tennessee. When we come back, we'll hear from Taylor Lewan. He was the other guy to get the big contract from the Titans. He signed the extension on Friday, and boy, did he make an entrance after that. We'll get to that on the other side. This is Sports Live on News Channel 5 Plus.